I've got Tony Trost on here, writer, director of this incredible Pulp Fiction-esque anthology film, Americana. Do you say cool. it's about right? And yeah, I mean, no, there's different ways. Like when I was doing the, the intro um, yesterday, I was just like, you know, you could call this a country crime film. Country crime uh, film. You know, it. you could call it a modern day Western or twist on the Western, or you could call it a, a beer and popcorn movie with pretensions. But, you know, but the, <laughs> <laughs> the uh but the yeah i mean like there's two you know like like i i don't lean into the tarantino thing just because like tarantino and the coen brothers are so obviously baked into my storytelling dna that like you know like i, I mean yeah obviously it's the, you know, the non-linear there's a there's some tonal whiplash things that goes on and, and stuff like that um that are obviously like in, in my dna and then i you know and i can't figure out how to like not have into my storytelling because otherwise I get bored if there isn't these tonal things and this mix of comedy and genre violence or whatever but yeah but yeah that kind of you know yeah it's, it's an odd duck movie it's 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 got this genre element it's got these interlocking chapters and and it's got this kind of um you know modern take on the western thing going on and so you know I think there's lots of ways to you know to describe it or you know I I, I also in the intro like I was like you know like I'm trying to do my version of a 1970s small town drive in a theater movie you know something oh. you would there you know like you know like this is you know like the the one movie that I asked everybody um involved in making it uh, making Americana to watch was uh Steven Spielberg's Sugarland Express just because like the vibes there is something I'm really even though the the script is nothing like that or the story is nothing like that that's um that's something like kind of just just the vibe i was going yeah for. kind of like a like a template yeah yeah totally uh, you know or, yeah yeah a vibes template you know yes maybe. that makes sense yeah. all right so it's 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 an anthology film which i've written and they're crazy hard to write like i'm watching this thing like man he took his time he pieced this thing together yeah. you know i mean you had to have done draft after draft but what I want to I want to ask you is that I mean this is essentially an entourage film, right? Because you have a bunch of different characters doing their own um, plot lines, and they all come together in this this yeah. great climax at the end. But every character feels yeah. nicely fleshed out. They feel real. They feel like they have goals. The way you introduce them is fantastic. I love Lefty. What an yeah. incredible introduction of a character how much time did you spend really creating these characters for this film? Because they, they all felt like they could have their own full on feature. Well, you know, I spent like a long weekend writing it and then, you know, we, no, I was kidding. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, it, it, it took, it took some drafts, you know, it was, oh, thank you first, by the way. Um, yeah. Like it, it took, it took some drafts, you know, like I had the opening section with Cal and uh, Dylan really, you know, um, that was in my head for like a, a good year. Like I didn't know what to do with it. Uh, and, uh, and I actually like the, the way the whole script started, like actually I wrote it down as a series of images, not even as a script, no dialogue, Interesting. Like just a series of images. Uh, and then I'm just like, well, what the hell am I going to do with this? Yeah. I don't know. Uh, and, uh, and then I actually did start writing it as a strict anthology film in terms of like totally discreet, disconnected stories like i was just yeah. gonna you know so i was just gonna write you know like like i don't know if there's a um argentinian film uh by damien zifron called wild tales like or like jim jarmusch's night on earth those the, you know like like those you know it's these little mini movies but they're connected together thematically and mm -hmm. originally my my goal was like okay i'm gonna do something like that but each chapter is going to be my take on different 70s genres that i like you know and so like the opening section was going to be my weird take on revisionist westerns and then i was going to maybe try to do like a uh, see it. a road movie you know kind of like vanishing yeah. Party or you know um or, or whatever and then I was, i'm gonna maybe try to do like a country 
noir type of thing like charlie varick or something like that you know and just these 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 these, these you know these store these kinds of stories that i love that don't really get made anymore and maybe i could just you know because part of it i was just like thinking you know like maybe that's how i could finance it like i do one short at a time and then right them all. yeah yeah uh but then i started writing it and then of course you know you're you know your kind of macro storytelling brain kicks in and it's like oh no no like like you can connect these together these can all be one story you know and 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 so it was yeah so it's it it a little bit that finding process like actually the the version that took the longest like was the penny joe and lefty uh section because like oh. in in my original versions like like they weren't penny joe and lefty they and they were not this kind of sweet um kind of damaged cowboy and this kind of you know um shy waitress with a stammer like the original version was like it was like some dude who um was really into retro cars and he falls in love with a woman just out of prison and mm. and, they, and they were gonna do this and and honestly it was like my wife is just like you know like like i don't care about these characters i'm not interested in these characters tony you know they're just they're you playing with archetypes or with things you like but i i don't I don't give a shit about archetypes. I just want characters I'm interested in. And so I just, you know, and so that, that the big revision was like, you know, and then somehow I, I, I you know, I, the, the iteration that Paul Walter Hauser and Sydney are playing, um, you know, it took, it took me a couple of drafts to kind of find like, like, Oh, like, I think there's so much darkness and there's so much, you know, kind of violence that happens. Like I need kind of a little bit sweeter, more innocent characters to balance it yeah. all off or, or otherwise it, the 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 balance goes goes too far in one direction and it's not enjoyable and, and you're not you know and and there's just you know because so much of it is like with an ensemble film is like the 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 you know, the bonus of it the, the the fun of it is like there's all these different points of views and personalities the dangers of it is like if everybody talks the same and has the same yeah. inner life um it, it gets old fast you know and so that and so is me trying to you know like my, my favorite ensemble films are you know it's like you know like like you know it's still like a miracle to me is that robert altman's nashville is like you know like there's what 20 24 distinct characters in that um and there's such a range of humanity in this like little um snapshot of just a couple of days in in the country music industry but there's just such a range in in personalities and outlooks and 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 temperaments and and just the way that people speak and so like that's that that's the challenge but also like the fun of that of, of trying you know like you just it's almost these uh this pointillism in a way yeah. of, of, of different sensibilities tonalities speaking styles you know and and, and stuff like that so yeah it, it took a while it took it's a while. All, it's all fleshed out man i mean paul walter hauser's incredible his interpretation of lefty is fantastic and then yeah. his scene partner in sydney sweeney wow i mean they they're just they play off of each other so well but you've got an incredible cast I and mean, you've got toby huss in there who's great you've got pop icon halsey yeah 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 you know i mean absolutely incredible cast how you're able to pull this all together it it just it just works and i love the fact that your wife is your best critic so is mine yeah. And and the fact that she's able to tell you like I don't I don't feel for these characters that's a wife that love yeah. and and respects you because if she just oh I think it's good they're not helping you yeah oh um, no no really because she yeah it's like you know I'm full of artistic pretensions and stuff like that and you know she's super smart but she's just <clears throat> she just wants to be entertained and have a story she gives a shit about you know yeah. and uh, and so yeah so like if it's original material i i tend not to share it with anybody in the industry until my wife signs off on it really you know and yeah. so i just and but once she does i'll i'll usually stick to my guns because like i trust her instincts um actually more than the pros most of the times because like i just you know yeah like, i think her her instincts are, are spot on but yeah i mean it's 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 a very very helpful to have to cohabitate with your your best reader and, and and toughest critic you know i think it's a it's a little bit of a secret weapon for me i love but, it yeah you were writer on longmire you're a creator of damnation both tv shows this is a feature but i see you bringing in the multi arcs into it yeah um how did you run into any difficulty getting this thing off the ground 
Oh, sure. Yeah. I mean, I think every every film, um, unless it's a pre-existing franchise, is a, a freaking miracle to get made, um, you know. And so, yeah, first time filmmaker, you know, story set in flyover country, uh, not, you know, it's not like neo-Western rural crime is, uh, you know, the hot genre of the day. Uh, and, you know, an ensemble cast, like there was a lot, um, a lot again, you know, like a, a, a lot of potential strikes against us from the get-go, you know, reg- you know, it's a very execution dependent film, you know, it's not like a guaranteed like premise. Um, so yeah, so like I, I, you know, my, my uh, I uh, hooked up very early um, with uh, producer Alex Sachs, um, who is just invaluable uh, every step on this, and uh, and we knew that our biggest selling point would be um, wasn't going to be me, uh, it would be getting a um, a cast that got people excited, and yeah. so that was so we spent a good year, you know, trying to trying to get the package together you know, before we went out to anybody, you know, so it was just identifying, you know, up and coming um, um, potential, you know, uh, stars or someone like Halsey, who is, you know, pop, you know, Gen Z pop star icon, but, you know, hadn't, you know, this is her real feature acting debut. I didn't, you know, one, you don't know if she's interested at all in acting and two, like, I, I had a gut instinct that she'd be really good. Like I, I you know, like I, I had, you know, like I sought her out, but it's, it's that kind of thing, you know, or Paul Walter Hauser was like one of my favorite character actors, you know, but you know, like, you know, and you know, like the idea like, well, I, I think he might respond to this because I haven't seen him play a role kind of like this, you know, yeah. where there's like a, you know, um, he's not, you know, there's a sweetness to him, but he's not like the goof, you know, it's not like he only plays goofball. I mean, obviously he played Richard Jewell. He does, you know, a lot, you know, or, you know, on Blackbird, he's amazingly terrifying and stuff, but, but he hasn't played this kind of sweet, almost like romantic kind of cowboy, yeah. you yeah. know? Um, and, and, you know, he still jokes that he, you know, like, you know, like, are you sure, like you were sending it to me? Are you sure you didn't like, you know, like misspell like Miles Teller's name or something like that? You know, that's who, you know, cause like this more kind of maybe traditional, um leading man type you know but 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 you know but i wanted one of paul you know because like he's a great actor and i wanted to see him in this role and, and also he just he feel he he wouldn't i didn't want trying to get cast that you know that didn't feel like they flew in from hollywood and like were afraid to touch the counters i wanted it, them to feel a little bit more of the world you know and so i think you know like actually like looking back like you know like there's almost you know like sydney's from like west uh, Eastern Washington, Idaho, what Paul's from, I think Minnesota, um, Halsey's from like New Jersey, you know, and, and um, you know, Zahn's from all, all over. And, and and it's not, you know, these are not like kind of Hollywood royalty, you know, like, yeah. I don't, you know, like, you know, there's all this, this discourse about nepotism babies or whatever, like, like, you know, this is not a film with those, you know, second and third, fourth generation Hollywood um professionals these are kind of all self-made people from all over the country lobbing with blue collar backgrounds and like you know i think that was appealing to me because like i think they would they would fit together like there's a you know something you can't put your finger on right with those you know people who come from other parts of the country than say los angeles or new york that like you know maybe won't condescend to the world that they're living in um so anyway so yeah there's it's you know casting is a to me, casting is like a form of writing, you know? It's perfectly it's, casted, Tony. Yeah. I didn't even realize it was Halsey till halfway through the film. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. I mean, she crushes it. It's it's incredible. And I, and I also think it's important for other writers to outstand that a writer is as accomplished as yourself still had to really get out there to make this thing happen not like people were knocking on your door or they oh, walked yeah. up to somebody and handed them a script and they said yeah let's make this you had to put it took you a year i mean that says oh, everything yeah, you need yeah, to no, know no, to, 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 yeah it took a year to get the you know package together to get it financed and then it took and then we um you know and then it took another at least six months to because like some some people that we had in the original package their schedules weren't working out so we had yeah. to reconstitute a package that would get the financing but yeah like it's not like anybody came up and tapped me on the shoulders like hey tony it's time you know yeah. like 
you know, like, you know, it's like I, you know, I had to wrote it on my own for free, you know, and as, as kind of, you know, as a speculative venture and, um, and really like, I mean, I think there's a lot of, you know, like, I mean, I don't want to get too cocky. I just, you know, we had a really nice pr premiere yesterday at South by Southwest and, and, and the audience really loved it. And so far, knock on wood, the reviews have been really generous and stuff, but you know, like, I think it's, it, it's, it's, if I was to be honest, like it's only now that like I'm starting to get like a sense of people in the industry is like, Oh, there's something here. You know, I think there's, yeah. there's even skepticism because like, you know, it's it, this isn't following a you know a current Hollywood it's trying to do something a little bit different and it's in my head it's it's not aimed for LA New York professionals I'm trying to like like I'd say my director statement like you know like like my ideal everybody's welcome here my ideal audience though isn't like a Hollywood executive my ideal yeah. audience is the person who um, cleans the that executive's office at night like that's who I'm trying to entertain and and that's and and like that's that's in my head like that's the audience that's often either overlooked or condescended to and so i'm trying to like i'm trying to like give them something like weird and interesting and not not everybody obviously is going to respond but but that, that but that's statement. you know but there's a i think there's there's a lot of skepticism about this project you know um, really i don't see it i think this project works i'm gonna and i'm gonna tell you from from my personal experience watching it is that you hit home with the theme of family and tribalism and yeah. this this country is so divided right now uh -huh. and you approach that in really interesting and unique ways you have one guy who's trying to create a family you have another character who's running away from a family yeah. you have another character trying to um appropriate a family yeah, yeah and so by bringing all of that together in this really cool ensemble cast and anthology film you're hitting home you're hitting people in the heart because everybody's about family yeah, and yeah so there is an aspect in this film in one of these different chapters that will speak to someone and i actually think that's quite brilliant and i'm not surprised that you're seeing success i think you nailed it um and i'm just excited to to get this out there for people to hear about it. and i can't wait to see where it goes yeah me too. well that's so i mean that's awesome man thanks um yeah i mean and, and that's you know, and I think that's kind of a, a thing, like, I, I think I started, you know, I, I usually don't write with a, you know, I don't have like a theme, you know, that I post up, like, you know, this is going to be a story about home. Or yeah. This is gonna, but like partway, you know, may, maybe after the first draft or two, I was, you know, like, I think, you know, it's just like, oh, th this is all about people like, like trying to find their real identity or that's trying true. to find, you know, like there's, they've inherited this one version of the West, but, but that West has changed. And like the old stories of the West maybe don't, don't hold in the same way, but they still draw on us or, or these like kind of thing, you know, but, and, and that's interwoven with the, the idea of, of home too, of like just trying to find a place where you belong or trying to find like a version of yourself that makes sense to you or that, you know, um, you know, and, and, and yeah. And, and hopefully that's, that's something that's, that's, yeah, hopefully relatable, you know, like in addition to the, the genre funds or the the commentary on on the western genre and stuff that they're you know like trying to also maintain just yeah that relatable um yeah connection with these characters or you know and, and then one thing that you know when we were working on the cut and i'd get you know ask you know friends and acquaintances or or people i didn't know to like you know as i'm trying to like get the right version of the edit and like i think like at least like I, I think you know and i'd ask people like, so what was your favorite character and i think like like seven different characters i came back uh, like from different people like That's for some you people, want. You know, yeah, some, exactly. some some it's ghost eyes sometimes it's cow sometimes it's lefty sometimes it's mandy you know sometimes it's roy lee dean like people like you know like you know and, and that that was that to me like that was cool encouraging because like you know just depending on where you're coming from you're going to identify with different different people exactly. there. that's um that's yeah that, that 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 was that's that's great to hear but that was that was, that was a fun a fun um element to kind of uh to, to a feedback to get and to and to try to like serve it and, and to keep that in mind as i'm editing and like not to take you know because you're trying to get the pacing right but you don't want to take away so much that like for somebody who really likes this character they don't you know you want to allow them to have enough um access space and just time with them you time, know and yeah that's that's 
you know, um, that's a juggling act and it's, uh, um, yeah. Tony, before I let you go, is there anything yeah. I should have asked you that I didn't? <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just happy to have it, have them to share the movie and have it out there now and, 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 and excited that it seems like, you know, it's connecting with some people, um, you know, like, yeah, now I've got to I've got to figure out what to do next. You know, um, are you kind of coming off of this big journey? Like, do you feel like you can breathe now? Um, yes and no, because I yeah yeah yes in terms of like anxieties about you know trying to because it's it's been so much like even like like up to last I'm still working like this um like earlier this week like on Monday like the last signing off on the last vfx shots and color grading stuff like 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 it was like yeah. you know up to the wire so i can breathe a little bit easier on this i still got bills to pay <laughs> i still got things like i'm still I, I i'm out there i'm doing my hustle and and singing for my dinner and i'm trying you know and you know trying to line up the next thing you know i'm not you know like you know maybe you know like i'm not i'm not someone you know um who's um can just like coast for the next few months and, and just, you know, go to, go to the beach or something. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, I'm a working, working screenwriter. I'm trying to, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, writer director going forward. So I'm trying to kind of line, you know, keep my TV career going and try to line up the next thing of this. And then, but I also like, just like, I like just being a screenwriter too, you know, for hire, you know, yeah. and, and, and finding those. And so that's, you know, like that, there's a little bit of breathing room, but there's also just like, you know, I, I want to keep working, you know, I got to keep, you know, like, you know, the, um, you know, I've, I've got to keep, keep that grind going. You're in the hustle, man. And I feel you on it. I'm, I, I'm always so busy looking forward that I don't look to the side and see my achievements and they tend to pass yeah. me by. So breathe it in, man. You've done a yeah, great yeah. job. I'm excited for you and where this thing goes. The cool. film is Americana and, uh, the director, writers, Tony Toast. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jeffrey. I really, really enjoyed it. Really appreciate it.